Welcome back, everyone. Johnny Keck once again over at AMP Futures. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And we're going to take you uh, in this particular segment. We're going to cover how to create uh, indicator templates. Uh, this gives you the ability to, to save indicators as a layout, and you can apply it on any chart. It saves you a lot of time. Uh, we have customers that call in, and, and you know they spend hours, and sometimes if not longer, uh, to create specific indicator setups on their chart. And the one thing that they don't want to do is, is go through that entire process when they have to create a new chart and, and make all those changes once again. So we're going to try to make this uh, as easy as possible for you to streamline creating templates uh, based on indicators that you'd like to use and how you'd like to make those changes and save them so therefore you can reapply them onto any chart that you create. All right, so let's go, uh, let's go ahead and blow up a chart here. I'm going to maximize this chart. And uh, this is uh, the mini Nikkei chart once again that we worked off the, in the previous video. And what I'm going to do is I'm, you know, I'm not going to spend hours building an a indicator setup. So I'm just going to add some simple indicators onto a chart, and then I'll show you the basic mechanics on how to create and save that layout so you can apply it onto any other chart. All right, so I'm just going to right-click on the chart. We've already shown you in the previous video how to add indicators, so you should already have an understanding of how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and simply add three different indicators. I'm just going to go down the list and pick any random one. Uh, let's say ADX, for example. So I'm going to click OK. All right, we'll just pretend that we spent a lot of time, you know, figuring out what values to use, changing up the colors. But for now, I'm going to leave everything as the default state. I'm going to add the indicator. All right, you can see the indicator has been applied. Right-click on the chart once again, insert study. All right, then I'm going to go down the list, and let's go to, let's say, MACD. Click OK. All right, we're going to go and just stick with everything as default values. We're going to click OK to add the indicator. And then we'll do one more. Uh, let's add an overlaying indicator, so we'll do Bollinger Bands, so we don't uh, split the chart a third time, and we'll just have it as an overlaying indicator. And now we'll click OK, and so now we have three different indicators. So, of course, you can go down the list and start adding more indicators and make the changes. So what I normally recommend doing before I get into showing you how to create the indicator template is take one chart and add all the indicators that you normally like using, Make the changes accordingly, whether you want to thicken up the weights, change the colors, change the input values. You know, do, whatever what you, do what you need to do to make the indicators look exactly the way that you want. So spend your time first doing that. Once you have that in place and you, you're looking at your chart and your indicators look exactly the way that you, you want them to look, the next step is then you want to right-click on the chart. So let's assume that I've already gone through the process of adding the indicators and making all the changes, all the necessary changes, and now I'm happy with the way that the indicators look. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the chart now. And now you're going to see an option that says Format Study Templates. All right, so we're going to go ahead and left-click that option. And then you're going to see you have the ability now to save a study template. I don't have any saved just yet. I just installed the platform recently about a week ago. So I'm going to go ahead and create our very first template for this video. So I'm going to hit Save. And you can call this template anything you want. So I'll just call it today's date, for example, April 25th, 2016. Now I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that study template has been created. And not only has it been created, but if you click the plus sign to the left of it, it will tell you all the indicators that you have created for specifically for that template. All right, so now what does this mean to you as a user? I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Let's open up a new chart, file, new, chart window. All right, let me just wait for this format instrument box to populate. And I, I, again, apologize. I'm still running a bunch of processes on the, uh, the other monitors, so my computer is running a little slow. Uh, but this should pop up very soon here. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to locate the instrument that I want to create a new chart for. So we'll do a different example this time. We'll just add the, the mini S&P this time instead of the mini Nikkei contract. Uh, let's make sure that the data range is set to a minimal so it doesn't take too long to load historical data. Two days back is fine. All right, that's a five-minute time frame. We're going to click OK. And now you're going to see the chart in a few seconds load data. Now you can see that it just loaded a regular chart, but there are no indicators. So imagine, you know, let's assume that that previous setup where I added those indicators took me a couple hours to do, and I wouldn't want to spend another two hours adding that exact setup on the specific chart. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right-click on the chart, and we're going to go to Format Study Templates, and you will see that very same template that we've already created. Now the tricky thing is, if you have multiple templates, which I can't uh, demonstrate at this moment, but I'll demonstrate in a few minutes, 
but uh, I'll, I'll bring that point up once we get to that section. But what you're going to want to do is you want to check the template so you can see it's checked, and you want to make sure it's highlighted. So when it's highlighted now, you can apply it, and now you can see instantaneously it's added the exact setup of what I've created from that template. All right, so that just saves you a whole lot of time going through the entire process of recreating those indicators and making those changes because you already have it saved as a template. Now, there are no limitations to how many templates you can create. You can create as many as you wish. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and remove the indicators off this chart real quick. Right-click, remove all studies, hit yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the chart. And let's add a, a few more studies. And we're going to pick different indicators that we didn't use in the last example. So let's say, uh, let's see here, we'll go down the list. Uh, let's do counter channel. We'll add that one. All right, so that's there. And then we'll add, we'll just add one more. Insert study. And let's just do a regular volume indicator. Yeah, which is right there. All right, I'm going to add that on there. All right, so now we have a volume indicator. Now if I right-click on the chart, once I have the indicators applied, which I do, I'm going to format study templates. And now we're going to save it. We're going to call this something else. So we'll call this example two. All right, we're going to click OK. And then now you can see there's two templates stored. And so what I was referring to just a moment ago is what happens is, is let's say you have this option checked, but you can see that's highlighted. So you got to make sure that it's checked and highlighted. And so that's important for you to apply the, the correct template. So the highlight is indicating that, hey, this, this template's about to be applied, but you also have to have it checked as well. And if you click the plus sign to the left of it, it tells you exactly you know, which indicator indicators are built within that template. All right, so again, there's no limitation to how many templates you can create. You can create as many as you want. I just created two in the last five minutes. And if you want to delete the templates, then just be sure to highlight the template that you want to delete and just simply delete it. And it'll ask you, sure you want to delete the study template? Yes. And now it's gone. And that's a, a quick video on how to create study templates. Very important, very efficient, uh, very important to understand how to do this. Otherwise, uh, you're going to spend a lot of time creating all those indicators on every chart that you create. And not an ideal way to use the platform. So it's best, in my opinion, to use the study templates to save you a lot of time. Other than that, guys, thank you for your time. We'll see you in the next video.